guys, this is Lawrence Simon, class of 2013 here at Jesuit High School. Um, I teach physics and chemistry. Uh, I mainly do physics, but every now and then I'll get roped by the science department to do chemistry and anything else they need help with. And you are tuned into J5. When I was a student here, I went through the motions of being a student. You know, I went and sat in the same desk you all did, went to class, uh, went to breaks, sat in the hallways, ate snacks and lunch and all that good stuff. But uh, now as a teacher, I get to see the exact same experience, but on the other side. And it's uh, quite fulfilling in a lot of ways. Um, I had a good high school experience, but I had some things going on where um, I didn't really get to put my full self into my experience in, this ways, in the ways that I thought I did. So now that I'm a teacher and I get to see students who are, you know, really enjoying high school or taking the time to just find who they, who they are themselves, um, I get to sit down with a person and be like, hey bro, how you doing? And um, I, I, it's almost like there's a full circle kind of moment for me where um, I get to witness the exact same emotions I did uh, I witnessed the exact same emotions I felt as well, and uh, even be able to walk with somebody in the way that I wish I could have been walked with as well. And it's so beautiful, so it's so fulfilling. I absolutely love it. I'll deny it if you ask me in person, but it's no secret that I'm a DJ and music producer. Uh, <laughs> Sasha Van Lore in the mix. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the thing about it is, uh, I'm a physicist, so people look at me like a scientist and they tell me, oh yeah, you see the world very logically. No, I'm an emotional dude. I think it's pretty obvious. And so music I see is like the natural connection for me between like how I feel and the real world. And so um, as a teacher, like, yeah, I'm helping people with their emotions. You know, students are always coming up to me asking me what they need help with. And a lot of times that's academic or emotional. But um, for me, music is that like more emotional side that I can be in touch with, like how I feel, how other people are feeling. Um, the science is the logic side that I can be in touch with, like what's the logic behind life, what's the uh, academic things that my students need. And so uh, there's obviously an interplay in that and uh, everything's related in my world. I think music and science have a deep relationship with each other and it's beautiful. I love it. Nobody's heard of this song unless you really know about trance music, which I listened to since I was like four years old and I'm 28. Um, it's a song called No One Home by Omnia featuring Anna Criado. It's the original mix released on Razinist and Music in 2012, I think. I had just finished summer. I was entering my senior year. And I don't know why this track in specific, the lyrics I never really listened to in tracks, but it just, I felt like it was a very autumn, fall-like vibe. And it spoke to my emotions at the time. Uh, a little bit on the depressing side, and I love that music a lot. But um, I actually have a playlist on Spotify, which is in my personal uh, Lawrence Simon Spotify. Um, which is called Airplane Trans 5, and it was all of those tracks from senior year, which is, uh, reminds me of flying. I had five compilations, compilations, uh, and that was definitely the peak track on that compilation album for me. I talk about a version of this question, actually, in my classes in physics, because in real life, we have physics, but in cartoons, we also have us breaking physics all, all the time, and that's intentional, and video game physics does it too, but one of the things I always wanted to try was flying, obviously, my classic example of this is, uh, I'm born in 1994, but uh, I used to play some Super Nintendo, Nintendo games, and Super Mario was one of them. So Super Mario has the ability to start flying around, and um, I always thought it was pretty cool. The way he jumps and the way his bounce off of a Goomba, for example, or off of any monster, goes way higher than it should. Totally not how physics works, but like I always thought it'd be pretty cool to jump really high after just, you know, bouncing on top of a, uh, on top of a pipe or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> When I was a student here at Jesuit, I think it was my junior or senior year, and I had to do work study, which is an old program we had where, you know, you do a bunch of service towards the school, and if you can't pay tuition, you get some help financially, and, you know, you put in a few hours in school. So one of the activities I was supposed to do was um, help out serving snacks at the football field. I came down the football field at 3 o'clock around school when it ended, and um, Mr. Lane was like, hey, uh, he was the guy in charge. He's like, hey, uh, you know, you're supposed to be here at 2.30. I said, oh, I'm sorry, was I really? And uh, he says, did you not get the note that I sent to your classroom? And at that point, I didn't get it. But um, I said, sorry, Mr. Lane, I actually didn't think I received the note. I am sorry about that. And he looked at me and he says, no, it's no problem. You're okay. And the fact that he treated me as somebody, as an equal, and it wasn't just him, but this is like the experience I received from all my teachers. And I felt like it was something that they were encouraging me to be an older person, to be an adult, and to mature at a, at a better level, level, to be a man for others and to um, understand what that means. Um, and that was one of many experiences, like I said. So I took that to heart, and I like to believe that I try to give that experience to my students in whatever way that I can as well. Because I wasn't expecting to be treated as an equal. I was expecting to be looked down upon and said, hey, uh, you should have done better, even though I didn't know any better. But 
the truth of the matter was, was uh, he was encouraging me to be a better person and to be um, a man uh, for others and just be a man in general. But um, he did so in a loving way and as an equal. And I, I, to this day, I'm so grateful for that experience.